The Atlanteans ran an imperial copper trade empire that stretched from North America to Asia Minor. Archaeologists have puzzled for a very long time over the evidence pointing to a sophisticated copper mining activity there. It took place in the area of the North American Great Lakes some 5,000 years ago. Menominee Indian tradition speaks of the fair-skinned mariners who had come in the past to dig out the shiny bones of the Earth Mother. Plato recorded the Atlanteans had provided a very high grade of copper that was no longer available in his time. The Menominee Indian mariners could have originally been the Atlanteans. The destruction of Atlantis by war and natural catastrophe brought about the end of the Bronze Age civilization. It seems Atlantean survivors dispersed to all corners of the former island empire, including Western Europe, the Near East, and North and South America. The last of four great cosmic catastrophes could have been generated by the cyclical return of a comet and its debris. The quartet of natural disasters was followed by mass migrations recorded in the histories of such diverse peoples as the Incas of Peru, the Celtic Irish, classical Greeks, and the Aztecs of Mexico. When these cultures and archaeological finds and evidences are viewed side by side, a common thread is exposed. A common thread could very well be Atlantis. The fate of the Atlantean Empire is the story of an earlier civilization and makes Atlantis appear to be a credible part of the world's history. The Mayans told of two different groups of foreign immigration that came ashore in Mesoamerica. According to the Mayan calendars, cross-referenced with our calendars, a new world age, or sun, began on August 12th, 3113 BCE. This date goes along with the archaeological time frame of Mexico's first civilizers, the Omecs. The two previous theorized timelines of 1500 and 1200 BCE for the sudden beginnings of Mesoamerican civilization are realized with the geologic upheavals and final destruction found in the Atlantis story. Both cataclysms started different migrations that created the two later cultural levels of Omec civilization. Now, the date of 3113 BCE for the foundation of the Mayan civilization is still more amazing because in that same year, the dynastic civilization began in Egypt. These two developing events, separated by half a world but united in time, were not coincidental. A comparison of the artifacts shows remarkable similarities. Combined with the identical starting dates for the Valley of Mexico and the Nile Valley civilizations, plus the first monarchs in both cultures that reveal a core relationship between Mesoamerica and Pharaonic Egypt seems to be beyond question. There are no Egyptian traditions suggesting direct overseas contacts in Mexico, and much less indications of Aztec and Mayan connections with Egypt. Yet both Mesoamerica and ancient Egypt share remarkable similar accounts of powerful culture bringers who arrived in order to start over civilization in their own respective lands from across the Atlantic Ocean. To the Egyptians, their founding fathers came from the west. To Mayans, their founding fathers came from the east. Both cultures told basically the same story because they must have inherited a common Atlantean heritage. The imported features of dynastic Egypt are fundamentally the same details introduced into Mesoamerica. Both civilizations appear full-blown in history without the long-term progression of evolution seen in other organized societies. If the Egyptians had planted their culture in Mesoamerica, the two civilizations would appear virtually identical, the one being little more than a colonial extension of the other. But this is certainly not the case among any of the uniquely identifiable societies of Mesoamerica. For example, both the Mayans and the Egyptians, isolated from each other by a vast ocean, used hieroglyphs, suggesting both peoples received them from a common source. Now, neither written language translates to the other because both systems evolved separately over many centuries. Differences separating Egypt from the Mesoamerican civilization seems to be from the local environments. They found two different lands. There were enough similarities, however, to show they sprouted from the same seed. 
In other words, it's possible that Mesoamerica and dynastic Egypt were local forms of the same theme which was common to both. The mystic and historical heritages of these societies do not speak of Egypt, but rather of an Atlantean origin. No doubt, civilizing influences reached Mexico at the same time they appeared in the Nile Valley. The Mayan foundation date of August 12, 3113 BCE must have been the day that refugees landed at Veracruz. Sailing in their reed boats, they fled the first of a series of geologic upheavals that troubled but did not destroy their homeland. Sharing a foundation date in late 4th millennium BCE are not the only similarities between two cultures. Fundamentally, connections between Mexico and Egypt through a common source are apparent and abundant in cross-cultural illustrations. For example, Mesoamerican pyramids bear strong resemblances to Sumerian ziggurats and especially early Egyptian step pyramids. The most famous pyramid of the New World is Yucatan's Pyramid of Kukulkan, the Feathered Serpent. After dawn on the vernal equinox, the lower portion of the west face of both this Mayan structure and Egypt's Great Pyramid are in shadow. As the day progresses, the west face of each become increasingly illuminated as the rays of the sun move from the north crossing the zenith at noon. This phenomenon is only seen on the first day of spring. The similarities between dynastic Egypt and the Mesoamerican cultures only intensify when we include the rest of the world's pyramids.